we integrate and deploy cluster and so on. Does that sound okay? Sounds so good. Thanks. So good. Yeah. Installation. <coughs> I would like you to go to GitHub from IPFS camp for elective courses, elective course B. And in the readme, there is installation instructions for you. Please follow them very closely on your laptops. If you don't have a laptop, you can pair up with a <coughs> It should work for Linux and Mac and maybe Windows. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Try it. If you run in Windows, please start that. <coughs> so everyone verify that you actually did this. You emptied the secret after you do init the secret is set to something we emptied for demonstration purposes and it says cluster peers to trust everyone okay so um, so no, some of you already did it's also on the readme you can run that remember to use consensus CRDD and so on to start your cluster peer uh, so there's a um I see 16 peers already in the cluster and the Raspberry Pi hasn't broken out of the time. <laughs> 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 so I guess the other option is to put the channel on. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
We're just helping people connect, and the next slide is about what, how to run commands and how to actually see things. <laughs> You install service daemon and you install a CDL. The daemon runs your cluster peer. The CDL allows you to interact with it. Why don't you try running these commands and trying to get familiar with IPFS cluster CDL? What happens when you run ID? What happens when you run pin ls, uh, peers ls, uh, pin ls, and so on? You need to have already added the file to IPFS before running this. Yes, or, or just add some file directly to cluster and you get a CID just like you get from IPFS. There's a section in the talk where I explain precisely what each of these do, but I would like you to play a little bit with them and, and see if you understand what they're trying to show you and so on. Every command takes dash dash help at the end for additional information. And if you have trouble, raise your hand. Yeah, replication yeah. 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 
Okay, you have extracted service, you need to have extract yeah, con control as well. But in the time, oh, yeah, that, that's right. Go yeah, to that, uh, that repository. You do that for uh, learning. Uh, yeah, you do like our min, our max, do one. No, 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 like there is, you can draw this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. The first time I try to go ahead and do IP based cluster service in it. You probably have auto automated. It's slow. You, you it's very slow. And it's based in its programs. Yeah. 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 Now you have to create a file. That's called service JSON. Touch. No, 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 it's not there. Touch. And then go to systems. This file is going to be inside of IDF. No, but it is going to be on Yes. Um, so 
said that I'd be a first at that. Yeah. 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 No worries. So now look for secret. Are you familiar with the No, okay. It'll be easier if I just do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Empty the secret, and then just the fear. Right now. Oh, yeah. Where's the asterisk? Mine is just five outside of the I'm used to my my own shortcuts. So whenever I type something, how do you write asterisk with your keyboard? You're not here. You're ah. Yeah, true, true. Like you said, it was stolen. Yeah. 
Uh, and that's it. You want my three hours now? Because you actually have to copy the movies command from the repo. Yeah, it's not really, 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 really frustrating. Yeah, yeah. 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 the latency oh. just like oh. very cute. Uh, right at the, at the bottom of that. Yeah. What? Or, uh, yes. Alright. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so you had a little bit uh, time to play. You connected, you bootstrapped and became part of a cluster by bootstrapping through a Raspberry Pi, which may not have been the uh, most uh, intelligent way of doing it. Um, some people managed to pin some things. Um, we saw them on the display. We also saw that there were problems adding, uh, basically because someone had turned off uh, their daemon, and the metrics had not expired for that daemon, so therefore other, other peers still thought that that peer would be online and try to put content to it, and that failed. If you run Status, for example, you will see a list of pins and you will see also a list of connection errors because you're trying to connect to all the peers that you think are in your cluster but you cannot and so on. Uh, always in par parameters of normality given the, the state of the local network here and that everyone is running the cluster for the first time, turn it off and that we have a default configuration with uh, at least five minutes for metrics to expire, which is not like the most appropriate for this uh, type of cluster. Yeah. But you get a feeling of, of the commands that you can do with cluster and so on, and how, how to bootstrap. The whole thing is is distributed. There's no, there's not a central server. There's not the central server. You just used it to bootstrap to everyone else. And honestly, I think it's the first time we put 25 peers on the CRDD uh, mode, which is like really cool. 